Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. My name is Cindy Valentina from the YouTube channel Valentina Cowgirl and today I'm here with Brandy. We're gonna show you guys some trailering tips and tricks and I'm actually gonna show you guys how I trained my horses to trailer load. There's many different methods but I thought it'd be fun to just show you guys what has worked for me and my horses and yeah, let's go ahead and get started. tip is to practice trailer loading when you don't have somewhere to be. When you have a show and you're rushing and the horse is not loading into the trailer, it's very hard to work with your horse right then and there because you have somewhere to be, you're running late, your horse isn't loading, you have a show, you know, like the lot is going on. So it's very important to practice this on days where you have nothing going on, you have nowhere to be, and make sure you're not in a rush. That's super important. That's like tip number one. I have my cow visiting over here. Hi Delilah. So I've had Brandy since she was a yearling. So one of the things Things I did with her was work a lot on desensitization especially with the horse trailer I would kind of just bring her to it and let her do her own thing she was a very curious baby so she would just get in here and explore she never really had too much of an issue with the horse trailer it created a great foundation for us so later on when I actually worked on loading her she was a lot more comfortable with the trailer because I gave her so much freedom to just do her own thing and explore without actually forcing her into the horse trailer obviously a lot of people don't have their horses since they're yearlings and a lot of times they've already had a bad experience with the horse trailer so it's a lot harder to get a horse to load who has previously had a bad experience as opposed to a horse who is just brand new to the horse trailer doesn't even know they're supposed to be scared of it which they're not <laughs> but you guys know what I mean it's a lot harder to fix like bad habits than to just do it correctly from the beginning so the first thing I do is pressure and release which is really easy and very simple it's all about timing and releasing at the right moment so for example I'm gonna pull on the lead rope and as soon as she takes a step forward I'm gonna release so I'm gonna pull release I'm gonna do it again, pull, good girl, and release. Now something very important is to actually back your horse up before they back up themselves. I've noticed that a lot of times when the horse is like getting into the trailer, the owners get really excited and they're just like, okay, close the door, close the door, get them in, right? But you don't actually have to do that. If you work with your horse correctly, over time, they just stay in by themselves. You don't have to rush and close the door. And doing that creates like tension and fear. They're very perceptive. They know how we're feeling. So if you're like, oh my God, oh my God, close the door, hurry up, they're in, then obviously they're feeling that. So by backing them up before they back up themselves, you're teaching them that hey you don't have to freak out you don't have to rush out we're gonna back up regardless so that is very important because it kind of gives them more freedom to walk in because they know they're gonna get out anyway so that's another tip is to back them up before the horse gets a chance to back brandy we're not going in yet mama girl <laughs> um but yeah so that's another tip you don't want to just rush your horse and get them all the way in the first try it's just step by step and that's what's worked the best so i'm just gonna get her front legs on the ramp Stop her, and then back her up. Good girl. So we're gonna try it again. We're just gonna do the front steps. Good girl. I know it sounds like counterproductive like why would you back up if you're trying to get your horse to load like why would you get them out of the trailer when your whole goal is to get them in it's crazy but actually backing them up is what creates that little light bulb moment for most of the horses that I've worked with so that's why it's so important to do this when you're not going anywhere because if you're going somewhere you don't have time to like back up and back up you know it's not the ideal moment to work with your horse so it's very important to do this throughout the week when you don't have any shows or nowhere to be so that's usually how I start off with all the horses right pressure and release I apply pressure on lead rope take a step and then release and slowly but surely they are all the way in the horse trailer and again I back them up throughout the whole process like I never want them to go in all at one shot especially at first I want to do like step by step halfway in back them out onto the ramp back them out halfway in again back them out finally all the way in then back them out and that's what's worked great but there are other times when that's not really working the horse is just terrified of the horse trailer they're not going in at all you're just sitting there for hours pulling and they're not taking a step that's happened like there are horses who have just had terrible experiences that just don't take a step at all like you're literally there applying pressure for an hour and they're not taking a step forward when that happens I usually have someone else help me use a lunge whip and just tap their butt at the same time that I'm applying pressure so I'm pulling the horse forward someone is tapping their butt and as soon as the horse takes a step forward we both stop I let go of the reins and the person stops tapping <laughs> are you like in a rush to get into the horse trailer we're not going anywhere mama girl and you're not whipping the horse it's literally just a tap like 
just because it gets annoying for them so eventually they just want to get away from that tapping another thing that has worked really well is just sitting down this is gonna be the weirdest thing you guys are gonna think I'm crazy but this has recently worked with one of my friends horses he just wasn't going in I was standing there applying pressure for an hour and he was not coming forward and actually getting down to his level made him feel comfortable enough to walk up let's say I'm trying to load the horse and I'm just standing here putting pressure the horse is not walking forward I've actually done this and this has helped a lot it's hard to demonstrate straight with her because she just keeps walking but I kind of just do this and just sit here I just made the horse much more comfortable and much more curious of the horse trailer and he just came right in obviously it took time but it, it gave him more confidence to walk forward so I would just stand in here and get down like this you obviously have to be careful because it's a lot harder to get out of a horse's way for kneeling. And if you don't feel safe doing that, you definitely don't have to. I know this can seem a little bit dangerous, but that's another tip that has worked for me. Now, the second thing I did when the horses just wouldn't load, this worked a lot with my other horse, Crystal. She hated the horse trailer. She just didn't want to load. She was very rude and just yanked back and like backed up, backed up, backed up. And this worked with her. A lot of times horses come in and then they freak out and they just like boom, 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 and back out, right? I, I have experience experience with that that used to happen a lot with her and what I did is actually work her outside of the trailer and then let her rest inside of it so whenever she would back up without me backing her up and she would just kind of yank the lead rope out of my hands and back up I would lunge her outside of the trailer and then let her rest inside of it but again I don't load her all the way and I put her two front legs up let her rest let her rest if she doesn't back up like crazy I step a little bit forward again let her rest let her rest if she's not backing out then I back her up as her reward you don't have to back up like crazy I'm, I'm gonna back you up don't worry so then eventually she's like oh my god I love being in here <laughs> all I do is just relax in here and when I'm outside I have to do a bunch of work so eventually they start realizing okay it's better to be inside the trailer but I also back her up so that she realizes either way she's coming out she just has to do it the right way I wish I had a horse that didn't want to load so I could give you guys better examples but Brandy just loves the horse trailer right oh yeah all right, you guys, so those are the two main ways that I've taught my horses how to load in the horse trailer. So just to do a recap, the first way was with pressure and release, just being very patient, pulling on the lead rope as soon as the horse steps forward, releasing, and just backing them up before they get a chance to back out themselves. <laughs> the other way is to make the horse work outside of the trailer and then rest inside the horse trailer. So eventually, they just prefer to be inside the horse trailer because they don't have to be lunged. <laughs> Another tip to prevent your horse from rushing out of the horse trailer is to stop them at different intervals throughout your backing up process. So for example, I back my horse up and stop them before they're all the way out of the horse trailer and then I'll bring them back into the horse trailer. Again, I back them up, stop them halfway, and pull them back into the trailer. Doing this gets them used to backing out of the trailer and also stops them from rushing out. Okay, my next tip is to face away from your horse when you're loading into the horse trailer. A lot of times you just kind of face your horse, which creates pressure. So you want to face away from your horse and walk with your back towards them. Another tip is to always back your horse out of your horse trailer instead of letting them turn around. It's just a lot safer and it creates a good habit. Obviously, if you have a straight load horse trailer, you don't have any other option besides backing them out. But for slant loads and stuff like that, I still like to practice backing them up instead of letting them turn around. Okay, my next tip I've actually learned from experience. You guys don't understand how many heart attacks I've had, how many crazy just panic moments I've had because of this. And that's actually to close the trailer door before you tie your horse up. Especially with Crystal, this has happened a couple of times. I would load her in the horse trailer, tie her up, but before I get a chance to close the door, she freaks out, sets back, breaks the lead rope, rushes out of the horse trailer. That has happened quite a bit. <laughs> and it's just traumatizing, I hate that. Like it literally scares me because I just feel like she's gonna get hurt. So over time I've learned to not tie her until the trailer door is closed. And putting the butt bar is not enough. You literally have to close the trailer door because I've done that, like we have this little strap over here I'll show you guys I don't know if you can see there's this little strap that we have that you clip once the horse is inside and one time I thought that that was enough oh I just just put the butt bar and I can just tie her and then close the door but no you guys she literally set back broke the halter, rushed out, and slipped under the butt bar. So she was stuck underneath this little strap. It was on her back and she was like under it. Her butt was halfway out of the horse trailer. Her front end was still inside and the butt bar was stopping her from like standing straight up. Like she was literally stuck underneath it. It was terrifying. So like I've said, I've learned from my experiences, just always close the trailer door before you tie your horse up. So in order to do this without your horse backing up, I like practicing walking in and out while the horse is still inside, just so that they don't back out as soon as they feel 
few of you walk out of the horse trailer. I'll show you guys what I mean. So as you guys can see, I like to practice just walking in and out. In and out so that eventually I can just keep my horse in there without tying her. So that's another tip. It would just be to practice walking in and out while your horse stays inside the horse trailer. She's backing out, but you know what I mean. <laughs> If you like having the windows open when you trailer your horse, a tip is to make sure you put a fly mask on to protect their eyes from any dust or debris kicked up by other vehicles. Some trailer windows already come with a screen or some kind of mesh, but if you don't have one, this is a good alternative. Some trailers also have feeding areas or bins, but instead of just throwing loose hay in them, make sure to use a hay net to prevent hay from flying in the horse's face and irritating their eyes. It also keeps the mess to a minimum. Another tip is to practice loading your horse in different style trailers. This can be kind of tricky, but if you board at a boarding facility with other boarders or have a friend whose trailer is different than yours, ask if they'd let you practice trailer loading. Some horses have no problem loading in a straight load trailer but hate slant loads, or vice versa. It's always a good idea to expose your horse to as many things as possible. Alright you guys, that is it. Those are all of my little trailer loading tips and tricks. I hope this helped you out a little bit. If you have any tips or tricks of your own, definitely leave them in the comments below. You guys can help each other out if you're having issues. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Also subscribe for more videos like this one. And we will see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye guys.